Why did I become an architect? This is a good question. I became first an engineer, a building civil engineer, because I was very interested in the relationship of um, and the transformation of uh, a spatial uh, structure and the transformation of the environment through engineering tools. But then after uh, uh, I graduated as an engineer, uh, I became more and more interested in the, in the relationship between spatial uh, organization and social organization. And uh, the passion for architecture became stronger and stronger. And after I became an architect, uh, and my work uh, at the beginning always have been uh, blaring the boundary between engineering and architecture. Well, my driving force at the moment, uh, uh, the architecture, our research, architectural research is exploring uh, not only the relationship between special organization and social organization, but we are very interested, uh, especially on the relationship between architecture and landscape architecture. In all our projects, there is a very strong uh, 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 research on how the two uh, uh, type of design, they can influence each other. Uh, many of our project, the uh, landscape uh, part, the landscape design part, it's very, it's very important, uh, and uh, in the in the architectural result. And one of our aspect is also that we are a relatively small firm uh, that uh, that that is not specialized in a particular uh, in a in a particular uh, field of design, but we actually like to explore all the different uh, design typologies. Uh, basically, we do architectural design, engineering design, landscape design, interior design of project of any scale. So we go from very small scales to very big scale project. And we have in our portfolio very small scale project, very big scale project. And, and this allows us to, to, I think, to be a bit more creative in the sense that uh, by not only uh, exploring one uh, peculiar building typology or environmental uh, type, uh, transformation typology, uh, we actually uh, uh, cross uh, uh, the, the, between the disciplines and basically an interior design idea can actually become uh, uh, the design of a piazza or a park. Uh, so uh, sometimes, you know, an interior landscape, uh, uh, sometimes, you know, a landscape idea can become something that we can use for interior design. So basically, the idea of, uh, of uh, using different uh, uh, scale, different disciplines, and uh, in addition to that, uh, um, basically working uh, from uh, one field to the other, allow us uh, to, to become, I think, a bit more, more creative, to not, uh, not, uh, not risk to go into the déjà vu, uh, but to actually uh, import and explore uh, uh, things that we, scove, we discover, for example, on, a, on an artistic installation, uh, we use it for uh, a big, a big building. Uh, this is something that I think uh, uh, is actually characterizing a bit our our research. And in our uh, in our portfolio, we have a project of a high rise, high rise residential building, but we have also project of a, a small villa or even more small interior apartment or commercial project. Uh, shop fittings, uh, landscape uh, projects, uh, parks, uh, piazzas, and, uh, and uh, so on. What is my vision for the new world? Oh, this is a very big question. Huh? <laughs> my vision for the new world, uh, I have to admit that, uh, that I'm, I'm very curious the way actually the digital technology and they, they, they are transforming somehow our, our way of living and they have a very strong social impact that reflect also the way we live in our environment and the way also the way we design for example uh, we are using a lot of uh, uh, tools like whatsapp in communicating with people that are on site in, in malta I, we have project in malta I, on site in malta we communicate through digital technology with whatsapp and this has an influence you know social network has, a, has an influence and so on but my hope and my vision is that this actually this digital tool will actually become become uh, tools that will make our our way of living more I will not say risk sustainable because it's a, such a cliche word. I will say will make us more responsible uh, for uh, for the environment, for for preserving the, the, our environment for future generation, for uh, making our world less uh, with less uh, um, uh, in, 
drastic uh, financial differentiation between different class of people where we have um, millions of people that live under the level of poverty and we have few people that they actually can live on, on, their, on their shoulder a bit. So I hope, I hope the impact of uh, uh, this digital society, this new communication society, uh, the, the impact of, of internet, of social media and so on, will have an impact actually on making a, a more equal and a more fair world uh, for, for all.